undefeated American lightweight Gervonta Tank Davis is rightfully considered one of the best boxers of our time, regardless of weight categories. The 29-year-old Baltimore native stands out for his high hand speed, good tactical thinking, excellent timing, and solid defense. And the punching power of this short guy, 5'5", is simply frightening. According to many boxers who have sparred with the current WBA lightweight champion, his punching power is comparable to that of middleweight fighters. The legendary Iron Mike Tyson himself speaks very highly of his compatriot, calling him the face of modern boxing. Over 11 years in the professional ring, Davis had 29 fights, and each time he left the arena victorious. Moreover, 27 of his opponents never heard the melodic sound of the final gong. Today, we will take a brief journey through the main milestones of this talented boxer's career. After a very successful amateur career culminating in his victory at the 2012 National Golden Gloves Championship, Gervonta Davis decided to try his hand in the professional ring. His first fight took place in February of 2013. The names of the first 12 opponents of Tank will mean absolutely nothing, even to experienced boxing fans. And it's not surprising that the talented young man destroyed all of them without any problems, getting a record of 12-0 with 11 knockouts. A leap in the level of Davis's opposition happened in October of 2015. His opponent was the seasoned Mexican Cristobal Cruz, who previously held the world featherweight title and had victories over the strong Orlando Salido and Jorge Solis. The 20-year-old spectacularly proved that he was ready to move to the next level. Experienced and persistent Cruz lasted only three rounds against the talented American, being sent to the floor of the ring twice. The gifted boxer was noticed by the legendary Floyd Mayweather Jr., who hastened to take the guy under his promoter wing. Under Floyd, things quickly went uphill. It took a little more than a year to bring the very talented young man to the title fight. After easy early victories over the unremarkable Luis Sanchez, now if you're Luis Sanchez, you have to counter punch and you have to land something big to back this young man off of you, because right now he smells blood. right now is not good enough. Oh, that's why. Lightning quick power. Sanchez flat on his face, and that's it. Katie Bayless has seen enough. Did you see that, ladies and gentlemen? Who needs a jab? <laughs> Guillermo Avila. and Mario Antonio Macias. Davis! Davis, oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. A 30-second knockout. On January 14, 2017, Tank went to fight the undefeated IBF super featherweight champion, Jose Pedraza. As expected, the fight against the Puerto Rican was not going to be a walk in the park for Davis. Gervonta was more accurate and his shots carried much more threat, but Jose, who was more active in the ring in some episodes, simply worked harder than his inert counterpart. Davis's signature laziness in the ring has not gone away to this day, and he confidently won a couple of rounds.
Jonathan Johnson blocked that up. Oh, oh, The ending came in the seventh round, after Pedraza was on the floor of the ring. A beautiful victory and the championship title. Davis had the first defense of the precious title in May of 2017. And for this, for the first time in his career, he traveled outside the United States, going to London. And again, he was up against an unbeaten fighter, local crowd favorite Liam Walsh. The hero of this video did not want to play the role of a polite guest, stopping the strong contender in only the third round trying to rough him up, trying to hold on inside Walsh, but Davis knows he's hurting, and he's going looking for him now, and he's trying to finish it here, and he puts him down with the left hand in the third round. The Too low, he's got to get him up. He's on unsteady legs. He looks as though he's gone here, Walsh. One more, and it's all over. He stopped it. He stopped it. He's annoyed. He thinks it's a premature finish, but when Davis unleashed the power shots, there was only going to be one winner, and Javante Davis Gervonta did not hold the championship title for long. In August of 2017, before defending his belt from the undefeated Costa Rican Francisco Fonseca, the American failed the way in and was stripped of the title of world champion. The fight didn't leave the best impression either. The American, taking advantage of the difference in class, made a lot of faces and was clowning around in the ring without showing his opponent the slightest respect. Some of the flurries very impressive. Just outside range though, Paulie, with those shots. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Little okay. hand by Davis. Put your hands up. Davis gonna make himself an enemy of this crowd. They, they, they were cheering every time. Fonseca. Look, Fonseca's not a monstrous knockout. He's You're having a fun debate. <laughs> <laughs> right end of the bump. Davis prevails, the title remains vacant. Nice body shot. He wants to, be to, get, to, to get to the body. But in reality, Davis shouldn't let him in that easily. And I mean, it's about, yeah, about decision-making, too. Decision-making, but I don't think he's ready to yeah, fight. Yeah. But he's, he's trying to keep... Oh, trying to keep the going. end was also stinky. Fonseca was awarded a knockout defeat after he fell after a powerful blow to the back of the head. Google it, Al. Okay. <laughs> the kids will tell you. Oh, 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 oh they're, they're ruling it a knockdown. That's the Six, seven, eight, nine. And the fight has been... In April of 2018, Gervonta again became a world champion, taking over the vacant WBA Super Featherweight title. His opponent, former world champion Jesus Cuellar, lasted only until the third round, having been on the floor three times during this period of time. By Davis. And I think he may have stunned Cuellar with that punch. And those right hooks are tremendous. Yeah, right hooks to the body. Stop. And Quasar down to a knee again. Second time in the fight. Javante oh, hurt him to the head, but then he went to the body. What a combination. Left uppercut and down goes Quasar for the third time. Referee Tank was not seen in the ring again in 2018. In October, he was charged with beating a strip club employee in Dallas. According to the victim, she was hospitalized with a head injury. In 2019, Davis made two defenses of his championship belt, 
In February, the former interim champion in the weight category up to 118 pounds, Hugo Ruiz, was knocked out in the first round. Ruiz has him in the corner again, leading with that left hand. Hand splitting the guard of Ruiz. There's a combination by Davis, culminating with the right arm. And down goes 21-0 and with 20 knockouts. Gervonta Davis defends his 130-pound title. And in July, the strong Ricardo Nunes lasted only a round longer. Davis to Nunez again. Davis peppering the body of Nunez to get more comfortable. Big left hook to the ribs. Oh, big left hook. That caught Nunez. And now Davis is going on the attack. Nunez is hurt. Now Davis looking on low. Can Nunez recover? was nothing more to do at 130 pounds, and in December of 2019, Gervonta made his debut in the lightweight category. The vacant WBA belt was at stake, and the hero of our video was opposed by the once very dangerous, but who had irrevocably passed his prime, ex-world champion from Cuba, Yuriorcus Gamboa. The expectations of those fans who predicted an imminent defeat for the 38-year-old Cuban were not destined to come true. Using all his experience and Davis's traditional lazy attitude in the ring, Gamboa looked much better than boxing experts expected. Moreover, despite the leg injury received at the beginning of the fight and knockdowns in the second and eighth rounds, the veteran managed to get a couple of rounds to his credit. Davis bringing the crowd in. Then Davis might have cost himself a shot at ending the fight. Prime would have been, oh. this would have been a terrific fight. Left yeah. up, yeah, exactly. Oh, he's when we left, left have seen Davis, there's a straight left. Hunting down, walking down Gamboa. Gamboa trying to avoid the attack. Utilis there's a jab that lands for Tank Davis. And to the 11th oh, round. falling in with his shots because he doesn't have oh, this is a different kind of fight. Yeah. <laughs> Round 10 and Gamboa kind of Davis landing that left hand. Gamboa ate it. And maybe, maybe Davis oh. learns from tonight. Because yeah. it, it, oh, the shot is. It's a sign of when the Trump. Up in weight. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Shouldn't be missing weight at all. Gamboa stumbling, trying, and Gamboa, it's like he's on ice skates, just still on his feet. And the little shots, and then Davis. There's a combination of Gamboa momentarily. Lazy boxing performed by the favorite greatly upset many fans but Gamboa still failed to reach the final gong. In the 12th round, he was knocked down again, and the referee rightly stopped the fight. To that point, the left hand lands the uppercut that Pauly talked In 2020, the American made only one appearance in the ring, but what an appearance it was. On October 31st, Davis, paired with former world champion Leo Santa Cruz, gave fans one of the best fights of the year. The Mexican, inferior in power and size, fought with the favorite almost on equal terms until the sixth round, when Davis's killer uppercut sent him into a deep knockout. Davis. Um, and not extend the jab because when, when he does that, I already saw early. But he's going to have to dig down deep into those trunks sometimes for him, but it is effective. Santa Cruz's twitch. Not yet. Inquiring minds want to know. Left hook. Himself also mentally, and um, you know Santa Cruz doing it there because of the lack of distractions and the ability to focus. But Santa now unloading on Davis. Davis rolling with some of those shots and avoiding his best. Those combinations. All oh, learn defense. And there's Cruz through the right, and Davis now loading up again with the left. Left uppercut, right hook. Santa Cruz still looking to establish the jab, but he's getting hit. This has been precise in landing. Santa Cruz did not eat up much of the five minutes allotted for him to recover, and they continue. But Santa Cruz is going to fall from his.
In November of 2020, Davis's name again appeared in a scandalous chronicle. The boxer caused a serious accident and fled the scene. Charges were brought against him and the trial began. In June 2021, Tank entered his name among those few who won the championship title in three weight categories. Even the colossal size advantage did not help the undefeated WBA super lightweight champion Mario Barrios. Davis attacking, edging the jab very effectively. We oh, uh, early on I was asking how many rounds is Davis going to take? Game plan. Mention that I made right hand left. After the traditional sleepy start, Davis turned to full speed in the second half of the fight and in the eighth round sent Barrios to the floor twice. But... In the 11th round, after Mario fell again, the fight was stopped. The American decided to return to the more conventional lightweight category. And in December 2021, with great difficulty, he defended his WBA belt in a fight against the aggressive Mexican Isaac Cruz. An equal and competitive fight in which Davis was more accurate and Cruz was more active went the distance. Because David, you know, he's running fighting he open. He's, he's not throwing much punches. Oh, that got cut again. Cruz that got Davis's attention as Davis lifts the You know, Davis lands for Javante Davis. He saw Cruz right in front of him. Building is waiting for one of those upper land by Davis. Davis good. Davis avoids this left hook, although neither fighter has been on campus. And Davis able to evacuate. Jab and Davis. He saw Cruz showing after the fighter that is Javante to fight against Barros. Yes. And there Davis launches a left and lightning quick coming. Essentially let go of his punches. Oh, oh there he is. Right oh. up. Oh. Let him go on the clinch. Uh, his offensive show. And good defense help not giving Cruz a chance to let go. Davis and then you know Cruz trying that right and then the left to the body. Why not? Oh, there's that left uppercut. Right now Davis got a, a lot of news to same thing. Okay, Davis and a right hand by Alante Davis as we head to round. Time. So which shots are the more effective shots? I think Davis is left hand. So while we talk about him as a power punch, Davis in round seven. At the end of the fight, the hero of our video celebrated the victory by a close but unanimous decision. Twice 115 to 113 and 116 to 112. Enjoy what they've seen. The boxer defended his title three more times. And in all cases, he was opposed by opponents who had never known the bitterness of defeat before. 
In May of 2022, the incredibly daring challenger Rolando Romero was knocked out in the sixth round. A beautiful left hook from the champion put an end to a bright and very competitive fight. 18,970 people. The jab that Romero is using really effective. This fight early on is looking to be the simple equation. The left. Trying to hook with that jab. Romero will get that hook in there. Yes, he did. Tevering. Here's where the uh, the left hand is going to come from Romero. More, he's got kind of a half. There's later on. The right hand will come from Romero, and he really skilled matchup right now. Both of them are not trying to make mistakes. That's how Davis stepped in, but the left hand. Fight, uh, he was in, he injured his left hand, Davis, but he said it, at that early, he said it's not an issue in this fight. Really trying to play the, the mind game here, Davis. A little short with that left hand. All right. Fields to see how much he will accept. And he's already given two warnings. So the next certainly a different posture for Gervonta Davis, fighting from the outside. But I think it's something that he has to do against a bigger Romero. Yep, probably. Well, he's talked about his maturity. Because in previous fights, we've seen that he, yes. he seems kind of awkward. But in this fight, he's not the one. There's a big left hand. And what he'll do here is just counter left hand from the Romero corner. Now here we're going to see that counter left hand again. Right hand very low for Romero with a big shot can hurt you. And it's a wide right hand. That's the first time in this fight he really led like the frustration of all the give and take. The joy. On January 7th, 2023, Davis fought against super featherweight champion Hector Luis Garcia. Garcia! Garcia looked very good throughout the fight, forcing the champion to work hard to win. Wow, and this turned out to be a really good fight. Davis applying pressure, going to the knee. Fires off the jab. Some head movement, fainting. Garcia gets counted. Garcia's right in the punch. Tank Davis. That's the punch that Avalar knocked uh, Garcia down with. And Dan goes to the body with the right. There's a jab. He throws the jab. Look, yeah. look where he's at. It's, it's lazy. It's too lazy, and I think that David. And you know, some of them are pretty. He maker for him. Yeah, you get. You, you have a. This is landing the best power punches he's landed so far in this fight. The dramatic end came after the eighth round. Hector capitulated in his corner, citing vision problems. Listen to me. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see right now. The power of Davis in this past round, and it's going to come with a straight left hand. One of the best ones. April 22nd, 2023, Gervonta got perhaps his most significant victory in the fight against the incredibly popular Ryan Garcia. True. Caught by the guard of Garcia brings to the table early. Two of that he's had experience against lefties recently. And of course, the uneventful fight was dictated by Davis, who knocked down his opponent for the first time in the second round. like that Garcia bounces back up quickly from the Garcia camp oh and he hits him again a drama already in Sin City after a but Javante Davis came in with that open to it he got off balance got hit his right hand and why that left by the middle of the fight Garcia began to even out the course of the unsuccessful fight but in the seventh round he was knocked out with a perfect left blow to the torso is being fought the uh, the left who can't get there's a check yeah. hook. This continues to win the foot battle. Great mark left, and there it is. 
as a child. Got to start letting go of the hands. Keep Davis busy with them. For remembering, oh, there was a right hand that caught oh, Davis. Bad for him to keep him sharp. So far, things are working out very. Davis did fight in January against Hector Luis Garcia. Fight of my life, thank you very much. Yeah, and you know those right hands. And he was at the moment, and he said, no, I got to don't. Yeah, he, oh, he didn't see that. He didn't see that. By yes. Garcia. He knows the left hook isn't getting there. Be Davis for the 10-8 round in the second with the knock. Straight Ooh. left hand. He's been able to get in. Another left hook and a right hand by Garcia. And now... Wow. Mamma mia! Much like Garcia's promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, who was stopped by Bernard Hopkins following a paralyzing body shot with a delayed reaction. The champion's next fight took place June 2024. Once again, he faced an undefeated opponent, the highly talented Southpaw compatriot Frank Martin. The climax of this fascinating event occurred in the eighth round when a right uppercut followed by a right straight knocked the spirit out of Martin. Just avoiding that counter, but now Martin has to keep him busy. Oh, there's a left hand in the mouth, but Martin doing the veteran thing when Davis is a danger zone. Nice combo by Martin, though. Doing exactly what he's supposed to. Here's the thing, that left hand with a left uppercut like that. Left from Davis, now Davis chopping yeah. shots. Yeah, he's, he's looking for a double jet. Martin against the ropes, trying to use center of the ring again. There's the exit. Oh, wow, standing in front of Davis. Davis misses with the lead left up a retreat on the back foot, but Martin on it. Lead here in terms of total punches. And you covered up well. Oh, oh counter oh, left foot. Oh, it oh, begins. That left hand. Tank count. And it's those body shots that are doing damage. Mm. That's what's dropped after that. Yeah, and oh, it opened. We haven't seen body work from. Trouble here. There's the uppercut, and there's the left hand. Wow. Way out. The left hand just put him to even 140. Uh, he, he's almost oh, looks wow. up. It's a straight left, a left. Yeah, the left uppercut. Now his hands are down. Now he's defenseless.